day sunshine Good day sunshine I need the left When the sun is out Cause I've got something I can laugh about I feel good In a special way I'm in love and it's a sunny day Good day sunshine Good day sunshine Good day sunshine We take a walk The sun is shining down Burns my feet as they touch the ground I'm Good day sunshine Good day sunshine Good day sunshine Then we lie Beneath the shady tree I love her and she's loving me Away. I'm so glad that she's mine today. Good day, sunshine. 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 sun is out cause I've got something I can laugh about I feel good in a special way I'm in love and it's a sunny day good day sunshine good day sunshine good day sunshine good day sunshine Good day sunshine, good day sunshine, good day Good 
what I can do? Is it, it's over, right? Should I still be playing that song right now? Okay. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought that was the song. But I wasn't sure. A little more? Sometimes I wake up with the sadness of the days, feels like madness, so what would I do without you? When colors turn to shades of gray with the weight of the world at the end of the day, oh, what would I do without you? A decade goes by without a warning. There's still a kindness in your eyes Amidst the questions and the worries A peace of mind always takes me by surprise What would I do? What man? Walking is blind with a hole and letting in a coal mine. Oh, what would I do without you? My imagination gets the best of me. Try to hide lost at sea. What would I do without you? Yeah, hold the button there. Can you hear me? Oh, there we go. Okay, great. Great, great. Great, great, great. Oh, I want the big black one after he's done with it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you not only shower us with rain blessings this afternoon, but that you would shower us with love. Father God, we come together um, to bring these two children together in holy matrimony and so may your blessing be upon this moment this uh communion of souls and this very day lord in jesus name we pray amen, amen. okay oh i'm okay i'm okay <laughs> okay it's slippery can you hear okay okay um um, I picked a Bible verse that I wanted to read at um, Ricky and Amanda's wedding. Um, it's about love, and it comes from our Holy Bible. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so that as to move mountains, but not have love, I have nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things.
just wish you you guys need to be closer together. There we go. There, and then I can just be there. We gather in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness the joining together of Ricky and Amanda, to surround them with our prayers, and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. God created us, gave us marriage, so that husband and wife may help and comfort each other, living faithfully together in plenty and in want, in joy, in sorrow, in sickness, in health, throughout all the days of their lives. God gave us marriage for the full expression of love between a man and a woman, in marriage, this man and this woman belong to each other, and with affection and tenderness, they freely give themselves to each other. God gave us marriage for the well-being of human society, for the ordering of family life, for the care and nurture of children. God gave us marriage as a holy mystery in which a man and a woman are joined together and become one just as Christ is one with the church. In marriage, husbands and wives are called to a new way of living, a created, ordered, and blessed way of living, blessed by God. This is the way of life, and it must not be entered into carelessly or selfishly, but responsibly and prayerfully. We rejoice that marriage is given by God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and sustained by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, let marriage be held in honor by all. Let us pray. Gracious God, you were always faithful in your love for us, so look mercifully upon Ricky and Amanda, who have come seeking your blessing. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them so that with steadfast love they may honor the promises that they make this day through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. Richard, understanding that God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter into this covenant with Amanda? I do. Amanda, understanding that God has created and ordered and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter into this covenant with Ricky? I do. Ricky, in your baptism, um, you were called to union with Christ Jesus and the church. Do you intend to honor this calling through the covenant of your marriage? I do. Amanda, in your baptism, you were called to union with Christ and the church. Do you intend to honor this calling through the covenant of marriage? I do. Gary and Cherie, do you give your blessing to Ricky and Amanda and promise to do everything in your power to uphold them in this marriage? And you give them your blessing. Leanne and Chris, do you give your blessing to Ricky and Amanda this day? And do you offer your blessing? As all of you are here witnessing these vows, will all of you do everything in your power? to uphold Ricky and Amanda in their marriage. We do. We do. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Ricky and Amanda, since it is your intention to marry, Join your right hands. So maybe this would be a good time. Okay. 
Now, with your promises, you will be binding yourselves to each other as husband and wife. I, Ricky, take you, Amanda, to be my wife. I, Ricky, take you, Amanda, to be my wife. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sorrow and in joy. In sorrow and in joy. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I, Amanda. I, Amanda. Take you, Ricky. Take you, Ricky. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise. <laughs> and I promise. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Where are the rings? We have the ring bearer, or the ring person in charge. Of the ring bearer. <laughs> ring person. Well, just if you would, just we're going to ask a blessing here. Okay. okay. Ricky and Amanda have brought rings as symbols of their promises today. Let's ask Lord, or let's ask the Lord for a, a blessing upon these symbols of love. Heavenly Father, may these rings be to Ricky and Amanda symbols of unending love and faithfulness, reminding them of the covenant they have made this day through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. You get to go first. Repeat after me. Again. Okay. Amanda, I give you this ring. Amanda, I give you this ring. It's a good ring. It's a good ring. Amanda, I give you this ring. As a sign of our covenant. As a sign of our covenant. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And in the name of the Son. And in the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amanda, repeat after me. I received this ring. I received this ring. As a sign of our covenant. As a sign of our covenant. And you can say in the name of the Father and the Son. And in the name of the Father and the Son. Take his hand. There you go. Now I give you this, <laughs> Ricky. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of our covenant. As a sign of our covenant. I'm sorry, these pages are miserably okay. wet. My sticky notes are taking on a life of their own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I told you I was nervous. I can give you a refund. Ricky, I give you this ring. Ricky, I give you this ring. As a sign of our covenant. As a sign of our covenant. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I receive this ring. And I receive this ring. <laughs> In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life. You are the author of salvation the giver of all grace. Look with favor upon the world you have made and redeemed, and today especially upon Ricky and Amanda. Give them wisdom and devotion in their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Grant, Father, that their wills may be so knit together in your will and their spirits so knit together with your spirit that they may grow in love and peace with you and each other all the days of their life. Lord, give them the grace when they hurt each other to recognize and confess their fault 
and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Make their life together a sign of your love to this sinful and broken world. That unity may overcome estrangement. That forgiveness would heal guilt and joy might conquer despair. Give them such fulfillment in their mutual love that they may reach out in concern for others. Give to them, if it is your will, the gift of children and the wisdom to bring them up, to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Grant that all who have witnessed these vows today may find their lives strengthened and that all who are married may depart with their own promises renewed. Enrich with your grace all the husbands and wives, parents and children, that loving and supporting one another, that they may serve those in need and be a sign of your kingdom. Grant that the bonds by which all your children are united to one another may be so transformed by your spirit that your peace and justice might fill the earth. Before God, and in the presence of family and friends, Ricky and Amanda have made their solemn vows to each other. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings, and therefore I proclaim them husband and wife. Now No combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard No song that I could sing but I could try for your heart Our dreams and they are made out of real things A shoebox of photographs Sep your tone loving Love is the answer at least for most of the questions in my heart and Why are we here? Where did we go? And how come it's so hard? It's not always easy and sometimes life can be deceiving But I'll tell you one thing, it's always better when we're together Ooh, it's always better when we're together Ooh, always better when we're together Ooh, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together